the elements of chaos seem to have rendered us immortal. I'm informed by my master that some foolish ponies in Ponyville are trying to practice magic. Duty calls. Time to show these little ponies that magic... again honor the heroism of these six friends who stood up to the villain discord and saved Equestria from eternal chaos. And it was done. Fluttershy's horrible nightmare was over. This was the nightmare of every pony that lived in Ponyville. Most confided only to their loved ones what they had done after Discord had turned them stark raving mad. But the status quo fully restored, not a single pony wants to dwell upon that horrific period of time. Big Macintosh, for example, wants to say what, but he seemed very uncomfortable around the Apple family's pet dog now. There was, however, one purple pony with a screwball cutie mark was dragged away in a straitjacket, mumbling how the world finally made sense. It's not fair. The fact the sun and moon had rose and set willy-nilly during Discord's brief reign had led some to believe that the princesses themselves had been rendered insane, the same any living thing in Equestria. Twilight Sparkle would always insist on such ponies this was impossible, as Celestia herself had been the one to awaken Twilight from her own darkness. Others, however, we're not so sure. Fluttershy didn't care. She and all her friends were themselves again. The land was healed. Ponies were healed. Celestia and Luna and Harmony itself were now the law and Equestria again. And Discord was sealed away once more. And hopefully, this time, kept in a better holding place. After what had to be one of the biggest parties Pinkie Pie had ever thrown in her life, and coming home so late it was almost early, Flourishai walked half asleep to the cottage near the edge of the Everfree Forest. Most ponies found it a contradiction that such a timid, others said cowardly, pony could endure living right next to such dangerous wilds. For Fluttershy, it was simple logic. That was where the woodland creatures from Major Hop lived. And right now, all Fluttershy wanted was to go to bed and be done with it all, and hopefully forget that horrible waking nightmare. While Twilight insisted it was important they talked about what Discord had used against them, Fluttershy didn't have much to say at all. Discord had forced her to be that way. HA! Fluttershy squeaked and hid in the bush, looking around the streets of Ponyville, but seeing no one. Every pony was inside, either celebrating, thanking the Royal Pony Sisters for having survived what many were considering a near-death experience, or just sleeping away the bad memories. Uh, Hello? No answer. Fluttershy shook her head, and for once in her life, used her wings to fly to her home instead of hoofing it. Her experience losing her wings had made her ever so slightly more appreciative of them for once. When she got inside her cottage, all her animal friends, Angel included, were fast asleep. Fluttershy intended to join them. She was so tired, she could almost fall asleep right on the couch. Why not just sleep on the floor then? It would be faster. Fluttershy meant to scream out loud, but instead she barely got out of a shallow gasp. Where did that voice come from? It sounded so familiar. Chillingly so. But it felt so alien. Do I have a visitor? Excuse me, please, but could you come out? It's a little rude to not show yourself to your host, and actually, if you came in without me, it's fine as long as you didn't wreck anything. Fluttershy heard the voice again. It was a mare's voice, and it was very close. Hmm, okay. I remember Pinkie Pie mentioned it. Turn your head to the left. Almost as if her muscles were acting on their own, Fluttershy turned her head and found herself looking at her own reflection. Boo! Her reflection went... 
Fluttershy yelped as her reflection did the same. But then it burst out laughing. And her voice! It was her laughing. But she wasn't laughing. But... You are such a scary cat! It's hilarious! She heard her reflection say. Fluttershy then spoke. And was hiding in her wings. Who... Who are you? Isn't it obvious? Her reflection grinned and leaned in closer as Fluttershy did the same. I'm you! No! No! No, you're not! You're not! As Fluttershy began to back up into her own couch, the reflection settled into a relaxed pose upon it, breaking in a mocking mantra. Oh, it's official! Now Fluttershy really is afraid of everything! Fluttershy's afraid of herself! Fluttershy is afraid of herself! <laughs> Not so loud! You'll wake up, everyone! The filling in the mirror flashed your impressed sneer, though tinged with an unpleasant glee. Now that's more like it! Maybe there's hope for you yet! Hope? What do you mean? You are so dense! Her reflection took on a crunched expression. I mean, you're giving up this kindness nonsense. It's not nonsense! The animals began to stir. Why did I quickly sing her trademark lullaby to get them back to sleep? Hush now, quiet now, it's time to lay your sleepy head. Fluttershy turned back to the mirror. Her reflection's hooves had gone to her ears. Ick! How do your teeth not fall out when you sing that truck? Fluttershy almost deployed the stare. Stare herself? What would that do? It's not tripe. Now who are you really? There's no way you're me. The reflection took on that same wrong kind of playful pose again. Oh, I'm you, all right. I'm just a version of you that hasn't been around for all that long. Today's my first birthday, and I didn't even get any cake. How rude. Sure, I'm as real as you, and my name is Fluttercup, not Nightmare Stupid. Oh, well, sorry for calling me by the wrong name, but why are you here? How can you be here? Twilight woke me up from my nightmare. Her reflection got that arrogant look again. You aren't altered the same way Discord altered the others. You wouldn't listen to a thing you said, so I had to be born. Not that I wanted to be inside a cowardly marshmallow like you. I couldn't stand looking at those stupid memories of yours. They made me gay. But that didn't make me go away. I have nowhere to go but you. Nothing simply ceases to exist. You know that law of nature better than most earth ponies. I'm a part of you now, and forevermore. You'll never be rid of me. Fluttershy felt an alien anger push at her. Almost like a third person butting into the discussion. Well, I don't need you. All I need to do is go to Twilight and she can fix me and make you disappear. It'll be as if you never existed at all. Fluttercrew looked like she considered that a challenge to a game she had already won. Speaking in a bored, almost insulted tone. Oh, really? Is that so? You sure have a short memory. You'd have never caught me with Ash without me, remember? Everything you felt, wanting to see Discord hurt for what he did? Wanting revenge? Did you really think that was you? Or did you think that was the you that was born at the gala? Understanding dawned in Fluttershy's face. You're lonely. Fluttercrow's face twisted in anger. As if I'm a part of you now. I'll always be a part of you forever. Whenever someone uses you as a hoofman, I'll be there to tell you to treat them worse. Whenever you're pushed aside, I'll be there to tell you to push them back harder. I will always be there now. Absolute silence ruled the cottage, save for Fluttershy's heavy breathing. Is that so? Well, in that case, you better learn to behave yourself, young lady, because I know precisely what you are. Oh, what's that? Not a part of me? An invader? A faded leftover nightmare to vanish with the dawn? 
some parasite maybe? Just a bad memory? A reminder to never let yourself get angry because I'll take control or whatever? Something that'll just be there and never actually affect you? Letter Girl sneered back at her, but then the expression in the class then softened, becoming calm and controlled and ladylike. No. Then Fluttershy's voice instantly lost any trace of harshness. If anything, becoming more like a mother when speaking to a foal who they loved very much. You're just a pony who was only just born. Who thinks the only way to be you is to be me? A pony who hasn't made any friends yet. But it's okay. You can share my friends. If Pinkie Pie and Pink Amina can be with each other, so can we. Be with each other? I promise to wear away your emotional foundations until you crumble and you become the shadow and I the ego. Strangely, Fluttershy smiled, leaning closer to the reflection. Now Fluttercruel's expression flashed with a moment of uncertainty and fear. Do you remember how pearls are formed? They start out as a tiny bit of sand inside an oyster. It's not pleasant for the oyster, but eventually, that tiny bit of sand develops into a beautiful pearl. You just had a bad parent, but I promise to help you. I don't need your help, Flutterface. It's funny how it's the fillies who need the most help are the ones who say that sort of thing loudest. But it's late, dear. And we should both be off to bed. Hush now, quiet now, it's time to lay your sleepy head. No, no, you can't just sing me to... Fluttershy, hot. Hush now, quiet now, it's time to go to bed. Fluttershy walked away from the mirror and began to head up the stairs, feeling drowsy. Drifting off to sleep, the exciting day behind you. She lazily pushed the door to her bedroom open, practically falling onto the bed, just narrowly avoiding falling asleep on her wings. Drifting off to sleep, let the joy of dreamland find you. She turned her head towards a little mirror by her bed. I won't! I'm stronger than... Huh? You... You can't do... Hush now, quiet now, it's time to lay your sleepy head. Hush now, quiet now, it's time to go to bed. Fluttershy's eyes fluttered closed. You're right, you are going to be with me from now on. So I'm going to have to make sure you don't get yourself into any trouble, young lady. Don't worry. I'll be there for you. And she slept and dreamed.
You want to see more? Then get over here.